everybody. Joe Nahana, Anthony Caruso, back so, again. Talk some New Japan Pro Wrestling. We did the May 20th, May 21st, and May 22nd. Nights 3, 4, and 5. Of the Battle of the Super Juniors. If you would like to check that out and catch up with this, because if you did not watch that or hear that, then you shouldn't be hearing this. Because this is the... We're going to be doing the... May 23rd and 24th here, right? Yes. So two days. 23rd and 25th. 23rd and... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. There was no 24th show. I'm sorry about that. So we're going to be then after... Because we have a show. We had a show earlier this morning. We have a show going on tonight at 4 in the morning, whatever it is. So we're going to do after that, we're going to do a set of three dates after two, this two episode. Dates. Two, two dates. Which ones? Two dates. Two dates. Okay. Because we'll, we'll, we'll keep it going by, by essentially... Each match per block. So okay. this will be the fourth match for blocks A and B, the 23rd and 25th. And then, th- yeah. All right. So we have to create a schedule, much like they do. And that's how this is going to get done. So May 23rd, in the Tochigi City General Sports Park Gymnasium, if that's not a big mouthful, I don't yeah. know what else is. <laughs> Takamishinoku versus Marty Skrull. So, usually... I write down stuff for all the matches. I try to get in as much of the action as I possibly can and the logic. However, this is exactly what I have written down for this match. Marty wins with the chicken wing. That's it. Because I don't care. Yeah. Because Marty Skrull and Taka did absolutely nothing during this match. They went outside for some stuff. They messed around. Marty did the whole caw, caw. That's it. I don't. I couldn't care less about this match. It was what it was, and that's about it. Any thoughts on that, Anthony? Nope, nothing. <laughs> nothing? Okay, <laughs> nothing cool. If you remember anything from that match, go for it, because I could not care less. I just remember uh, starting to work the joke in when he got calls the chicken wing spot and calling it the buffalo wing. The buffalo wing. Because <laughs> he was very hungry. Yes. So he decided to call it the buffalo wing. That's it. <laughs> Marty won. <laughs> that's all you need to know. Next up, we have Will Ospreay versus Jushin Thunder Liger. Liger puts Osprey in a very painful looking submission hold. I believe it, it looked like the setup for the Mexican surfboard, but he doesn't lift him up. Yeah. Just kind of like sitting him there. I totally forgot what that move is called. But it looked very awful. Osprey does his backflip taunt, which is horrendous, to say the least. Gets nothing done. I like Will Osprey. Just lucha things piss me off yeah. more than anything else. Liger responds with a drop kick to the face after he does this, so good for him. I enjoyed this very, very much because screw that. Liger applies the surfboard, then stretching Will some more. Osprey eventually gets back into the matchup. Liger regains momentum with a tilt a world backbreaker, hits a top rope hurricanrana that Osprey could not counter. It looked like he was going to counter it by just standing up like he would if he was against Ricochet, but not against Juice and Thunder Liger. You're taking that spot. Will springboard kicks Liger, sending him to the outside. Osprey tries for a hesitation kick, but just ends up getting killed with a clothesline. By Mr. Liger. Then Liger hits a massive sit out power bomb for only a two count. Will hits a big shooting star press, then a springboard ace crusher for the victory. So Jushu Thunder Liger. Not uh, looking too good here nope. for the for the old fellow. Yeah, for his last uh, Super Junior tournament. He's uh doesn't look like this will be his year. <laughs> no. So Liger is at this point 0 4 with this loss to Will Ospreay. Taichi versus Hiromu Takahashi. Uh, Takahashi. This is before we get into the match. I wanted to note that Takahashi, when he goes up against Suzuki Goon, any guy from Suzuki Goon, yeah, he is instantly a baby face yeah. because Takahashi does weird things and he's an odd fellow and he does all these crazy things. But Suzuki Goon are such dickheads, yeah, that Takahashi was essentially John Cena in all these matches yeah. because. The crowd loved him, and he was fighting the good fight against the dastardly villain known as Taichi. Or if you're like us, the best wrestler in this whole tournament. Yes. <laughs> so Taichi attacks Takahashi from the back. So heels and faces, no, no exception to this. They all get assaulted. And also, Taichi is the greatest singer in this whole That's tournament. That's right. Too. He is quite the vocal range. He is uh, the definition of sports and entertainment. Yes. <laughs> Hire this guy, WWE, sign him to a 10-year deal yes. worth $8,000 billion. He beats him up in the crowd, assaults him with the cane. The bell rung previous to this, I had to note. So all of this is illegal. All of it is illegal. But absolutely nothing is done about any of it. 
Taichi just bullies around Hiromu for a bit, so Takahashi looking like a complete chump to start this match off against Taichi. He just kind of worked him and worked him and worked him. Hiromu fights back with a head scissors, then drop kicks him to the outside. The crowd cheers because Hiromu is actually working face during this match. Apparently, earlier there was a pair of trunks lying around and Taichi chased them around with it for a bit. I could not understand what was going on because the camera was not looking in, but apparently it was a, a pair of trousers lying around. Yeah. And Taichi was 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 taunting him with it. Comes back during the middle of this matchup. Taichi implores that Hiromu put him on. He was like, "Yeah, come on, try them on. Look good on you, right?" <laughs> Hiromu then puts them on, and after he does, he whips his ass, puts on, puts, then throws it on Mr. Taichi's face, yeah. ruining the uh, the the beauty yes. of Taichi. He put on these trousers that probably smell like steak or something. Taichi beats yeah, him up a bit. Steak. <laughs> steak. <laughs> beats on him some more. Hiromu lays him out with a suplex, and both men are spent. Very slow to get up after this spot. Taichi hits hard shin kicks that are very, very audible. They go back and forth and back and forth. Taichi rips the pants off and hits a massive super kick. Takahashi comes back with some very hard super kicks and a horrific side slam. Then Hiromu wins with a somewhat sloppy time bomb. Wasn't as crisp as you'd want to see it, but... It was what it was. Taichi was all over Takahashi in this matchup, but Hiromu somehow pulled out the victory here. So the junior heavyweight champion still reigns victorious. Ricochet versus Dragon Lee. Lots of wonderful chain wrestling going on during this matchup. Both guys, very good, very good pair, by the way. Yeah. Both heels or both baby faces, so yeah. you know this was going to be a straight up fight. Ricochet panders to the crowd a bit. He hits him with a neckbreaker. Then Rick takes over on offense. Lee hits a kitchen sink and a single leg kick. Works over Ricochet a bit. Rick, I wrote Rick down because I'm not gonna. I can't type Ricochet every single time. Tries to do a springboard move, but Lee cuts him off with a hard, very hard knee strike on the apron. Bumps him to the outside. Lee hits a big, big, big orange crush for a two count. I love his orange crush, by the way. It looks very, very awesome. Then Ricochet tries for a shooting star press, but misses. Both men collide and are out for a while until. Lee does his Tree of Woe double stomp on the turnbuckle and pins Ricochet for the victory. So Dragon Lee goes over on Ricochet here. And that was the end of that night. So if you tally up all the victories, because I did not copy and paste it afterwards, you're looking at you looking at uh, Liger going 0-4. We got Marty, who got a victory here. So this is the B, B block, right? Yep. We got Marty. Where's Marty? Marty's not on my block here. What's going on here? No, it's the A block. Oh, it's the A block. All right. Oh, sorry. So Liger, 0 and 4. Marty, 3 and 1. So six points for that gentleman. Tiger Lee, 3 and 1. Taichi, no, Takashi won the match. So 2 you mean and Dragon 2. Dragon Lee, you said Tiger Lee. Did I say Tiger Lee? Yeah, Tiger Lee and Dragon Mask. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Mask. So I have to update this list because I didn't have it updated, but we'll update it at the very end. Uh. Afterwards, May 25th, 2017, Ishikawa, Komatsu City, Su Suhiru Gymnasium. Kanemaru versus Tiger Mask. So this is the B block. Yoshi doesn't wait at all, goes after Tiger Mask, because why not? As he's walking as he's walking to the ring. So he's on his way down the ramp. Yoshinobu goes, screw this. I'm just going to go out to the old, old guy. I pointed out during this match multiple, multiple times that there are gentlemen... On the walkway, that are oddly sitting up against yeah. the barricade, they're, they're, they're like squatting. They're squatting. And they're holding it up and facing, facing the other way, away from the action. I could not understand why this was happening, and it, it caught my attention for so long that I almost missed this entire match because I couldn't stop looking at these guys, waiting for one of them to budge. So when I finally turned my focus back to the matchup, both guys were just laying out on the mat. Tiger Mask works over Yoshi for a bit, has him in an arm bar. Takamishinoku tries to interfere, but gets kicked in the face. So Tiger looked like he was going to be victorious until Taichi walked down to the ring. While the ref isn't looking, he hits Tiger, or Yoshinobu gets the whiskey bottle. Hits, it hits Tiger in the face, because no one ever drinks from this bottle. Ever, 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 ever. This allows Yoshinobu to use the reverse DDT, then the jumping DDT to win this matchup and finish him off. Afterwards, Suzuki Goon gang up on Tiger Mask and continue being dicks. 
Next matchup, Desperado versus Volador Jr. Desperado beats him up on the outside, much like literally every single suzuki Goon match. None of these matches will ever start off cleanly. Volador Topes to the outside. Both of them get back in at the 16 count. Volador hits a big springboard drop kick followed by a super kick and a backstabber. Desperado executes a wonderful spine buster. One of the best I've ever seen. Desperado has a phenomenal spine buster. And if you keep looking at it, it looks really, 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 really good. Volador has him in an armbar. Desperado pushes Marty Asami, then taps. So Desperado tapped during this. He tapped to the armbar. And Marty Asami just uh, got shoved. So yeah. his attention was diverted because none of these guys get DQ'd for any of this no, stuff. This nothing. is None of this stuff is governed. None of this stuff is closely watched. I'm assuming that Jado or Jado and Gato are just not really concerned with any of these things. Nope. And then t- then like put on a good match, guys. That's all <laughs> <we wanna say. laughs> so Desperado taps to the arm bar, but because because Mr. Asami was out like a light, Volador, for some reason, like a complete idiot, just releases the hold very quickly, raises his hands up thinking he won the match, looks like a total nerd. And could not believe it. He looks around and he looks at Mr. Asami and goes, well, I guess I didn't win this match because the ref didn't see any of it. Eventually, Volador wins with a reverse Frankensteiner for the victory. So none of that meant anything because Volador Jr. still wins. Afterwards, Bushi versus Ryusuke Taguchi. Taguchi gets the better of Bushi in the girly going. Bushi finally takes his shirt off after like six minutes of getting his ass kicked. So he finally decided to take it off. He uses, uses it to choke him. Bushi works the ass a bit, then rakes the eyes. Taguchi dives to the outside. Uses the springboard ass attack. Bushi reverses the ass attack with an atomic drop. Then Bushi finally hits the code breaker on the ropes and then wins it with the MX. So Bushi goes over here on Mr. Ryusuke Taguchi. By the way, Bushi finally figured it out. You work the ass. Yes. <laughs> work the ass on Ryusuke Taguchi. Don't let him get any well, yeah. steam going pre- with that large romp of his. Yes, the, pres- the precedent was set <laughs> by El Desperado, so... You heard that, everybody? The precedent was set by Desperado. He went to the back. He had a he had a uh, a marker. He had a, a whiteboard, and he said, "Listen, everybody, go for the butt. That's how you can beat Ryusuke Taguchi here." ACH versus Kushida. ACH takes over on offense early during this match. Does some very very hard chops until Kushida bounces back with a springboard elbow. So Kushida sold pretty well during this matchup in the early going. He works over the left shoulder a bit. ACH repeatedly tries to fight out of it, but Kushida tries to put him right back into the arm bar. Or he tried to work work the shoulder every single time, but every every time ACH thought he was getting out of it, he put him right back into the hold again. ACH did a half-assed five-knuckle shuffle very, very quickly, very half-assed. Yeah, it was like the second part of it. Yeah. (laughs) Does a spinning plancha to the outside. ACH still in control during this matchup at this point. Does a double stomp, single leg kick combo. Then ACH tries to pin Kushida three times in a row, getting pissed after every single time he cannot secure the pinfall. Kushida tries for a springboard elbow. ACH counters into a German suplex. Looked very great. AC attempts to pose on the top rope for some reason. He just decided to pose during this matchup before he did a move. And Kushida just kind of heel kicked him. Off of, work, off of it, comes off the top rope into an arm bar, which seems very unnecessary, by the way, I pointed out. He had him on the top, gra- he had him in the double wrist lock, and then just bumps off the top rope and puts yeah. him in an arm bar. Yeah. No reason for it, but whatever. An awful lot just to get an arm bar in. Kushida has him in a hanging arm bar on the apron. Then ACH deadlifts him into the ring with one arm, which looked very, very awesome, very impressive. AC tries to club him with some forearms, but Kushida kicks him in the bad shoulder. ACH takes off the elbow pad, hits a massive running lariat, then the midnight driver for the victory. So ACH goes over on Kushida here. So Kushida not looking very good in this tournament. Not yet. The but final standings here. We got to tally all this stuff up. I already got to tally all right, up. If you want me thank to you. Up. All right. So we got the A block. We have a three-way tie for first place. We have Marty Skrull. Will Ospreay, surprise, surprise. Yeah. And who else? Dragon Lee here. All tied with six points. They're all three and one. Then we have a three-way tie for fourth place or for fourth place. Uh we have Taichi, Ricochet, 
and Hiromu Takahashi, all two and two with four points. Taka Michinoku is seventh place, one and three with two points, and Jushin Thunder Liger bringing up the rear, zero oh and four, <laughs> on, the ver- on the verge of getting shut out for the tournament in his final year. Uh, maybe it's not his weekend, but it also isn't his year. <laughs> uh, You've been waiting you. so long for <laughs> yeah, that, dude. When I said that shit about his year, like two, like uh, twenty minutes ago, I was I that came right in my head right afterwards. I, he, I couldn't. He was salivating at the out. attempt to say this very awful joke. Yes, and then we have the B block standings. We have a two way tie for first place: El Desperado and Kanemaru, or uh, Yoshinobu Kanemaru. Uh, they're both three and one uh, with six points. We have a four-way tie for third place. Ryusuke Taguchi, Tiger Mask, ACH, and Volador Jr. are all two and two with four points. And then we have Kushida and Bushi. One and three, tied for tied for seventh place. One and three with two points. So uh, there's uh, three matches left. And I feel like Kushida's going to run the table. And Kanemaru and El Desperado are going to lose three in a row. Wow. And Kushida is going to skyrocket up the... Uh... This guy's very, very, uh, very into this Kushida yes. Takahashi finale. Yes. So, those were the two shows. Yes. And the next two shows we'll do is the 26th, yes. 27th. 26th and 27th. 26th and 27th. I thought, I thought I was going to include the 28th. No. So, we'll watch... We're going to watch both of those tomorrow, right? So, yes. Try to get those out of yes. the way as so fast those as possible. Be, those will be the fifth matches for... The t- for each block in the tournament, so that'll be nights one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nights eight and nine of the tournament. All right, everybody. So that's that's it for us for this second part of our twenty four match binge. Well, third part. Well, the second part of the, of the twenty four. Yeah, match. true. Yeah, twenty matches actually because we two thirds of the yeah, yeah. twenty four hour binge or twenty four hour twenty four match binge. Uh, we'll be back for the next two nights, and we'll see you guys another time. Say later. later.